Now, Christian, obviously our main event, we've talked about it's uh, half a year in the making. However, these two, their feud goes back to the old Kicker South days of ACW Proving Ground. Oh, yeah. These two have had a long-standing feud, and thanks in part to OAO, they are the reason why this is a non-title affair. Wow, they are just getting after it. I was going to say, these two straight up do not like each other. No, not at all. It's funny, there's no form, no fashion, no no, this glitz, is, no glare, no nothing. Just straight up fisticuffs, ass beaten. I was say, this is 100% personal here. And both these two just cannot break the lock here. Both of them just getting in shots where they can. Now, wait a minute. Oh! Ooh, Danny Vincent going down first. It's like getting hit by a truck that's also mad at you for some reason. <laughs> Like that truck had a vendetta. Oh, and once again. Wow. Huge shoulder tackle. I found out what the A on the side of his draws means. You know what it is? Uh-oh. Angry. That's true. And unfortunately, we had to, uh, you know, say farewell to the Danny Vincent show. But you're looking at, I would say, someone other than maybe Little J, who has the most appearances on the Danny Vincent show. And that is one Stephen Frick. Again, as I said, these two feuded all over 2019 and way before then. And Danny wouldn't let him get a word in edgewise. Maybe that's, that's why he's so mad. Could be. But this has been an entirely new side of Danny Vincent that we've seen here in the past couple of months. No nonsense, serious business, trying to really lock in his legacy as the longest reigning ACW combat champion for this company. Oh, wait a minute now. Whoa. Hoisting Frick up. No. Not able to keep him up. Frick able to get him out. Just chucking him. And Stephen Frick on the warpath here. Oh. Big knife edge chop. From basically pro wrestling's mayor of Miliwake. Ooh. Ooh! Big knife edge chop right to the back, or right to the chest. And now it's a situation here where Danny Vincent is on the run and Frick is in control. Oh, and just like that, the momentum has shifted. Boy, he caught him right by surprise. Wasn't expecting that, trying to get into the ropes. I'll say that was a case where you need to have eyes on the side of your head. Oh, he might have broken his nose. Oh, possibly. Ooh! Now shot to the kidney for good measure. Ooh. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Just that went. arm was getting used to getting healed. It isn't now. Yeah, I was going to say, it's just been set back quite a ways. And Danny Vincent here. You know, you'd think for a non-title fight, maybe he would phone it in. But no, he is here to prove a point and keep Stephen Frick in his rear view. Like you said, this is a grudge match. He's got something to prove. I think to both prove. these men do. Yeah. And some stiff shots in the midsection. Big European uppercut. Woo! And Vincent responding with the huge drop kick. And Frick almost uh, getting acquainted with the wall there. Although the attitude of Danny Vincent and the demeanor of Danny Vincent might have changed, uh, his disdain for the Pasco faithful has not. No. Well, I mean, let's put it this way. It's all for the better. Like, here, let's put it this way. This match, like you said, not up for the belt. Stephen Frick and, and Danny Vincent have gone at this before. Danny Vincent said basically, no, no, no. I'm not giving you the belt. You've already done that, and I've already beaten you. You want to go through, then you got to go through all the other guys in the back and go through the whole long line. He was like, but if you just want an ass beaten, oh, I'll give you that. Well, that's what we appear to be seeing here. Yes, sir. And now really focusing the attack on that left arm of Stephen Frick. You know what? Maybe Danny Vincent was the one that heard it in the first place. Could be. They've it's been, been that long. I would say they've been feuding that long. Yeah. Possibly. That was probably from the last of the... Uh, 
the hardcore matches. I don't know if this uh, this for sure, but if Stephen Frick was ever bullied as a child, Danny Vincent might have been to blame for that. It's possible. Did Danny put you in a locker, Stephen? And now... Gave him a swirly with that long hair. Could be. Danny able to sidestep Frick. Oh, and jumping in Zaguri there. And the combat champion very confident. And it's funny, too. Even just looking at him, you know he was a bully. Oh, oh, oh no, no, no. Putting the brakes on to stomp a mud hole in young Stephen Frick. Just looking at Danny Vinci, you know he was a bully in school. Now, uh-oh, cover. Two. Still just a two count. The fight in Frick is something else. We have seen both oh. these men go through hell. And in Danny Vincent's case, it was all worth it to keep the combat title and set records. But the other question here is, how much can Frick truly focus on his opponent when he still has Damian Angel looming in the shadows? He that's still true. has that opportunity to go up against Damian for the heavyweight title. Well, that's who his attention is set towards, but if he gets a detour you know, with Danny Vincent, well... A brief detour in Champaign, Illinois. Home of Danny Vincent dropping the leg drop right there, right across the throat. Cover once again very lackadaisical, and perhaps that cost him the victory there. Danny Vincent looking extra beardy today. Say he doesn't, he's like uh, when Conan left the air, he doesn't have to stay clean shaven anymore. He can finally grow a beard now. Two, just a two count. Yeah, David Letterman's beard got huge. A lot of uh, a lot of late night hosts decide to look homeless after they get off the air, and Danny Vincent may be uh, aspiring to similar goals. Well, basically, just proving the point that shaving sucks. If you don't have to, meh. And now, once again, wrenching on that arm, Danny Vincent came into this match with a plan of action. Yeah, to separate the shoulder and elbow of oh. Stephen Frick. Just a stomp to the kidney on the way out. Oh, boy. And here comes that drop kick. Oh. Boy, right in the mush. And now cover two. Not enough. Stephen Frick still in this thing. Danny Vincent still vertical here. Frick has not gotten up off the canvas yet. Well, that's because he's taking a hell of a beating. Oh, wait a minute. Speaking of hell of a beating, now he has oh boy. the title. Is this under combat rules? It's a non-title affair. It doesn't matter. It's still champion's advantage, I guess. Oh, that's true. But uh, referee Bird Lee taking the belt away and might have just swung the momentum here back to Frick. <laughs> and we are back at square one. It is anybody's ball game. Now Frick and Vincent, both groggy, both slowly getting back to their feet. Both these gladiators just go shot for shot, not even on their feet yet. I was just going to say, nothing scientific at this point. This is just straight toughness. Oh, there we go. And again, just explosive offense from Frick. He was the first one to his feet. Let's see if he's going to be the first one off of it. Oh. Nope. What you saw, he tried to Irish whip, but that one arm, uh, so much power has been lost. And now, wait a second. Atomic drop. Stephen Frick with the look of come get some. Oh, another huge European uppercut in the corner. Oh, big Larry to cross the back of the neck. Cover. Two. Close, but not quite enough.
And still, Danny Vincent, above all else, be it show, no show, champion, no champion, he has proven without a doubt that he is one of the tougher competitors that we've got currently on this roster. I'll say the fact that he's tough as nails? Yeah, absolutely. Which I think is the ultimate uh, twist ending of any series is that it turns out Danny Vincent can take a beating and come back for more. However, is and he give one? That's true. But is he tough enough to go the distance with Stephen Frick here, who again is trying to mount a comeback here, mount some offense? Wow, what Ooh, a boot! Taint terror right there. And now, perhaps superplex time. Oh boy. No, 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 wow. no, 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 no. Wow. Wow. Attempting an avalanche suplex. Whoa. Big superplex off the top. I don't know who that took more out of. I think maybe the ring at this point. This is agreed on another level here. And now cover, one armed and all, two. Still not enough to put the champ down. Again, non-title affair. But you got to think, a win here, as unlikely as it may be for Stephen Frick, has got to start building momentum going up against the heavyweight champion. And now Stephen Frick full head of steam. Oh, went for the huge freaking spear. But Danny, too oh boy. quick. Wait a minute. Choke slam. Oh, choke slam backbreaker there. Wow. Hoisting up all 234. And now cover. Hooked the leg too. So that was impressive as hell. I'll say that's a lot of humanity to just be hoisting up like that. Yeah, but, with one hand. But not enough to keep Frick's shoulders to the mat. Nope. Oh, he's got him by the beard. <laughs> Give me your. So that, that is a drawback to not shaving, I suppose. It's true. Danny Vincent's beard not long enough to grab like that. Now, ooh, knife edge chop in response to the ones mm. earlier. You see the crazy look in Stephen Frick's eyes, but is it enough to mount some offense here? It does not appear to be the case. It's enough to get a kick in the face. Whoa! Hoisting him up, throwing him down. Didn't have to be pretty, but it's effective, too. And you got to wonder, these two know each other so well. Is the concern starting to trickle in? Is it a matter of, wait a minute, what if I can't put this guy down? Well, like you said, Stephen Frick has tried before. They've battled many times. Unfortunately, Danny Vincent keeps coming out on top, and Stephen Frick can't deal with that. Or one of his seven personalities can't. True. Very true. And now, perhaps straight to DVD? No. Oh, huge oh. freaking spear! Can he capitalize? Oh, he Can pulled off the spear. Danny's in the middle. Oh, oh, no, wait a minute. Rolling out. There you go. Very wisely rolling out of harm's way, and Frick cannot make the pin. Yes, sir. And now Danny, again, slowly trying to make some distance here between he and the challenger. Yeah, but the look of determination oh! on Frick. Oh, spear to the outside. Huge freaking spear right on the outside, unforgiving. And the Gulfview Event Center waking up from their nap here. Right on the cement floor, that's the hardest part of the floor. That's true. The flooriest part of the floor, to say the least. And now, Frick attempting to will himself back to a vertical position. Could he be going for spear number three? There it is! Oh, boy. Cover one!
And thanks to OAO, you were unable to actually win the title. But be that as it may, you have vanquished Danny Vincent here. And the question becomes, what goes through your mind as your focus turns to the heavyweight champion, Damian Angel? All right. A lot of people I've been hearing say I don't deserve the number one contendership. Yes, you do. 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 Whether it's the heavyweight champion, Damian Angel, whether it's anyone in WWE, Gentlemen, give it up to your number one contender for the heavyweight championship, Stephen Frick!